applause for the thumbnail. Zi Yuan. Thank you, Ms. Tan. Hello everyone, so my name is Zines and today I will be sharing with you how you can basically do well in poly. So for myself, I was in the Masik Polytechnic. It's a 10 minutes walk away from my house. So I live really near the school and I, I was pursuing a... I mean, I got my diploma with merit in marketing. Before taking my PSLE, a PSLE? How old am I? So before taking my O level, because I wasn't sure what the result was going to be, right? So I went to EAE. So I EAE into Common Business Program in Tamasic Polytechnic, which is basically a course that allows you to be in a business diploma but not specialized yet. So you have a bit more time to think like which diploma you actually want to take. So I chose to get into common business program. I wasn't sure like which course I should go to, but I definitely knew I wanted to do something business related. So just nice there was this course which let me go inside and let me try out different types of business aspect. So there was accounting etc. So I realized accounting was not for me, so I went to marketing. I had no clue what my results would be. This was before you get your results. So once I EAE in, it was successful. I couldn't um, back up, I couldn't change my decision. But like when I was EAE, my mom was um, like, are you sure you want to go poly? Like, why don't you go JC? Like she basically wanted me to go JC. But I really didn't want to go JC because I didn't want to study anymore. I was so sick of studying from that four years of secondary school. So I was just like, no, I'm going to go poly definitely. Then she said her criteria for me going to poly was that I have to go to NUS and only NUS. So yeah, I made it. When I first went into poly, it was all face-to-face um, -face lesson. I had the whole poly experience, the whole orientation week, the whole getting to know new people. And yeah, but during my second semester in December, that was when COVID hit. So we had to have all our lessons online. And it was a good thing for me because I am quite an introvert. So I don't really like to socialize and interact with other people if I don't have to. I prefer to have lessons online so that I don't have to show my face. I don't have to dress up for school, etc. During um, home-based learning, I felt like it was a really good time for me to self-study. I would say one thing is that I really enjoy studying at my own pace. I like to plan my own schedule. I was quite an introvert in school. I didn't have any CC until the second semester. I decided like, oh, I really need to talk to people. I didn't, there's only three years in this school and I barely made any friends. I barely talked to anyone. It's not because I don't enjoy talking to people. I do, it's just that I feel very shy and afraid to interact, which is something I'm trying to improve on. But yeah, I, I didn't participate in a CCA and I, on my second year, I participated in a CCA called MC and it really, Help to boost my public speaking and my confidence and through MC I also made a few friends so I would encourage you to get a CCA but preferably one that doesn't have too much of a commitment which would affect your studies also just a disclaimer like when I like even though like I scored pretty decently in school it didn't mean that I was completely studying 24 7 I wasn't like if my friend asked me I'll be like oh no I have to go home and study I was not like that at all in fact, my work, to be honest, in my own standards, I felt like I did work pretty last minute, especially throughout the last few semesters, but I still managed to cope, so yeah. So I'll be sharing with you guys like some tip that got me my merits, and yeah, some tips on basically just how to survive in poly. So my first tip is regarding your grades, like how to get good grades, right? So my first tip is basically to not slack off in the first year because when people first enter poly, they will just think of playing, meeting new friends, 
all that but just so you know um poly's gpa is cumulative so in your first sem if you do very badly it will be quite hard for you to buck up on the next semester onwards let's say if your first sem you get like a two two point something gpa it's very hard for you to pull back your grades up during the next few semester so i would advise you to um, you i mean you can still have fun for sure but just be accountable and make sure you study to your lectures and tutors my next tip is to surround yourself with good friends good group mates so for poly we have a lot a lot of group projects especially for marketing we have basically close to no exams most of the assignment is based on group projects and individual assignments so I would think that one really good tip is to look for very good group mates that can stick with you throughout the next few semesters. So during my final year project, I had really good group mates that I know I could work well with and you know if you have good group mates, you can also have fun. The whole, I would say the atmosphere is very fun to do work in and you won't feel miserable. So it's really good to find good friends and good group mates. Next tip that I have, that I'm guilty of, is do not skip your lectures. I personally have skipped a few lectures. It's not good, do not follow. Um, but yeah, try not to skip your lectures because I feel like that is where uh, information is very important. And even if you do skip, right, um, try and catch up with what you missed. So for myself, if I miss lecture, I actually do take my own initiative to watch the playback of the lecture and etc. Because if you do not listen to the lecture, you will not know how to do the tutorial, which will result in you not scoring well. The next tip that I have is to basically be friendly to your lecturers. Especially now, if you are still like having um, online lessons, your lecturers will feel like they are talking to a wall. So if you could interact and engage with your lecturer, they will tend to remember you more fondly. And also this helps with your class part because there's a component for class part. So if you interact with your lecturers and bond with them, they will remember you more. For me, I, as I said, I'm quite an introvert. So I didn't dare to speak speak up in class like I wouldn't ask questions in front of like 30 plus people I wouldn't be like oh did you have a question after the class I would instead direct message the teacher like oh um could you help me with this part of the of the lecture because I didn't understand and actually they will be more than happy to help you at least for my lecturers I felt that they were very willing to lend a hand and help so yeah, don't be afraid to ask questions because if you ask questions, it shows that you are more interested in the lesson that he's teaching. Anyway, poly is a really good time for you to make friends and enjoy. I had a very enjoyable first few semesters of my poly when I had campus life, but when you move to online lessons, I was just not attached to the school at all. So when I graduated, I had no form of sentiments to people, to teachers, to the buildings, the food because I only I was only actually you know in school for like one semester yeah one and a half semester so I had no attachment yeah I came out with a boyfriend so if you want me to share some of my poly experience I can share with you in my next video if you would like to hear about that Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share with your friends and yeah, feel free to ask me for tips or any advice in the comments because I will help you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Lemonade, free lemonade. Just bring your own tumbler. What's the catch? We are giving out free lemonade to reduce the usage of plastic. Production of plastic encourages greenhouse gases. With the emission of greenhouse gases, your family members might actually be living in this situation as shown in this picture. So poor thing, right? Oh, I see. So do you know that in almost 80 years, Maldives is going to be submerged underwater? So your children may never ever get to see the beautiful Maldives ever.
give me a thumbs up and you get your free lemonade.